Storm has cleared. Going through Wellington Point right now, as you islanders already know. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a bit of a different approach this year compared to last year. Just I've got one additional thing to keep me busy, Islanders. Lots. All right, Islanders. All services cut. Look at this. Trees falling down all over the place. There's even a tree blocking uh, blocking the driveway over here. Sam's Island Life Office is permanently closed down for the remainder of the year and into next year as well, until further notice. Just letting you all know right now. And yep, that's the, uh, that's the shaded area right there. Probably think that's the new car park or something. Yeah, it is. You can fit two, can fit two cars inside of that now. Alright, so the old, the old, the old office is right there. Yep, there's like. Tell you what, Islanders, if if this if these extreme thunderstorms continue, which it's going to, then this island's gonna look like an absolute wasteland by the time that the new year comes in, and it will look totally a uh, unrecognisable wasteland at the end of the summer. And in case of you Islanders don't know this, we're in the southern hemisphere, so. Summer time starts in December and it ends in February. Right, at the very end of February, that's when summer comes to a close. I'm just letting you all know now, just in case you know any of you are, sus um, you know, obviously very curious. But you can see that there's terrible overcast weather right here. All these, all this cloud coverage over here is obviously telling us that yep. We've still got more craziness on the way. And I think the dirt car park's not the only one to obviously have terrible, terrible damage over there. And Jock Kennedy as well. There's actually, there's been a, an absolute extreme thunderstorm. It got so bad that they've even had to tape off the area. And there's a tree that got uprooted. And there's even there's even trees that there's even tree branches that have fallen down all over the place. Over there too. And there's a and there's a tree that even got uprooted as well. There's another tree that's fallen down. Yeah, we should probably put that somewhere else, but over there island there's, there's a tree that got that got uprooted. We've been sitting over there at the mangrove area and got uprooted like a couple of days ago and look at this even more devastation right here a tree another tree got uprooted down here and it's now pretty much blocked these person this person's driveway this is this this is an absolute catastrophe islanders I'll tell you this right now we actually do need the support around here islanders okay uh, share this to the government or something, um, Islanders, if you can. We, we we definitely need the support from everyone, really, at this point, because the such devastation right here. Yeah, so Islanders don't really need to be living in in this type of place right here, where it's obviously a wasteland. The way that these uh, extreme thunderstorms are right now, Russell Island is heading into a wasteland. It was once a great place to live. And then the population surge started. And now Russell Island's going to be heading straight into a wasteland. This is probably going to be one of the one of the worst extreme thunderstorms in the last 100 years or so. I'm not even joking, Islanders. This is definitely going to be terrible.
definitely going to be struggling a lot, Islanders. I can assure you that. Plenty of struggles. The, um, there was already a tornado at Russell Island um, a couple of days ago. Look, even more, even more devastation down here at the Recreation Hall. There's lots of tree branches down here and everything. Head on down that way, I want to see what's happened down here. So we've got all these tree branches over here. There's another one right down there. And there it is, right over there. Auntie Alice's. A tornado had hit Auntie Alice's. And look, even more devastation down here, even, these par even near Path 666. More branches down, even over there too. This is what extreme thunderstorms look like, Islanders, and this is what and this is what damage they cause. Look, like, even down there too. Look, like, I can see a tree branch over there. Just droppings all over the place, Islanders. Even even over there too. My goodness. Such catastrophe, Islanders. It's not good. This is, this is uh, no, 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 we're not allowed in there. Not allowed in that way. You have to enter in the other way. Sorry, Islanders. Sorry for that all of a sudden right there. Um, it wasn't to you, Islanders, it was to um, the driver here. So she was trying to go in through the, the no entry, which you're not supposed to. The chauffeur. You, get, you have to enter in the other way, down, down through the ferry terminal. Another tree over there. This is absolute crazy, Islanders. Absolute crazy. And even up ahead too, look at that. There's even a tree branch that's almost fallen off a tree right down here. Such absolute devastation. No one's coming. Now, as you can see, Islanders, the roads are definitely deserted because there's like barely anyone on these roads here. Because I think everyone's adhering to the warnings and it's not safe. Well, it, it's pretty much safe for now, but tonight it's not going to be. And if, the, and if these aren't, aren't, aren't scary enough, wait till you get to the next one. Alright Islanders, so if you think what I've just shown you before is not scary enough, well, just wait till you get to here Islanders, because believe me Islanders, it gets worse here. It gets even worse. Look at that. Droppings everywhere, even over here too, look at that, oh my goodness. This is why extreme thunderstorms are no joke Islanders. They, this is why they are no joke. And they are not funny either. Especially when you got such a catastrophe like this. So after seeing this on this, it will probably make you rethink about, you know, that you may think that extreme thunderstorms are no joke you'll realize, oh yeah, there are people that have really struggled here. Yes, this extreme thunderstorm is absolutely ridiculous. Such a catastrophe like this. Yes, Islanders, we weren't joking. This is what this is what we're this is what we're dealing with right now. And are going to continue to do so in the um, in the weeks to come and in the days after. And yep, and it's and it's far from over, Islanders. It's definitely far from over. We've got more extreme thunderstorms on the way. More problems. Still battling. So I think I think the message for people here is uh, tonight, bunker down tonight, bunker down no way that anyone will be out here tonight. I 
think tonight you're gonna have to probably just wait it out at home because there is no way that people are going to be able to be out here even the aquatic centers out yeah we'll see we'll see what the damage is down there yeah in case if it's in, in case in case if you're not already feared up already down here it's worse down here it's even worse pretty much all of Russell Island's gone out as far as we know there's um there's still a pocket full of people up up here in the north that've still got their power like me for example um, I'm just outside of that I'm just outside of the outage though thank goodness Look at that, right there, even even the old avocado trees. Those, those, those are very, very old avocado trees. And they're, and they're starting to slowly die as well from the extreme thunderstorms that have been penetrating Russell Island. So yeah, you, you islanders can see already that there's already branches left and right down here like you can see Islanders is already bad enough and if that's not and if that's not even worse enough look at this these old avocado trees these are really really old avocado trees right there and uh, they've been providing avocados to residents for years Obvious, that was pretty obviously a uh, quite eye-opening island just to see all that. I reckon it was going to be much, much worse. But yes, islanders. Uh, so yeah, I, I think the, I think all all of that what you've seen right now was pretty scary actually. So now you islanders will know that these extreme thunderstorms are no joke at all, and they're not something to be laughed at either something that's heartbreaking. Servos. Because of the outage, there's several places here that are definitely without power right now. Well, there's one of my other friends, Islanders, okay. But yes, Islanders, this is no joke right here. This is something that you should probably be thinking about, Islanders, is because what if what if that extreme thunderstorm came to you, Islanders? Think about that for a moment. What would what would happen if the extreme thunderstorm came to your suburb? You would not be laughing. You'd be in sorrow. Absolute sorrow. And there's the memorial garden right there. I'm pretty surprised that that, um, that that memorial garden obviously didn't really hurt anything. Because, yeah, well, we'll check down here. Why not? So there's the uh, Pioneer Children's Memorial Park. Looks mostly untouched. Except in there. Alright Islanders, so, I mean the images are already shocking enough, but if it isn't, then, then probably this last clip right here will probably make you change your mind and just know how heartbreaking it is just to see this absolute devastation right here. And if by the end of this you're still not convinced, then I don't know what to think, really. trees down all over the place. Oh look at that. The, look that that's that's what an extreme thunderstorm does. It leaves leaves pools of water all over the place. Okay, and we are delivering we are delivering these in a safe environment for us. Okay? You wouldn't want to be out there. If it's not shocking enough already, look at that. There's already a tree branch right next to right next to a welcome sign. 
there's a welcome sign and there was and there's a tree branch that's fallen down. So okay, so like I said we're delivering these we're delivering these in a safe environment for us. Uh, you wouldn't want to be out, you wouldn't want to be out here. Especially during a thunderstorm because that it's, it's those extreme thunderstorms are really dangerous. And you wouldn't want to be out there. Okay, I've been out in the severe thunderstorm once. But an extreme thunderstorm, you wouldn't want to be out there for that. It's already a branch that's fallen down, a tiny stump. Okay, so, yeah, so the, the, these, these are already shocking enough. So this is already this is already pretty shocking. So another another branch has fallen down. And the wind seekers don't see what all the fuss is about. Alright, that's so. And look at that, more water, more standing water. This is a shock islanders. Very big shock. Goodness me. Alright, so we just went past the SS Island. Uh, no damage I, um, that I can see. Uh. Oh dear. Thanks for watching this episode of Russell Island Adventures on Island Life. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And if we survive tonight, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.